who says Wakanda in Black Panther could have never existed? Well, listen to this. If you own an automatic car, the auto gear shift in your car was invented by an African, Richard Bowie Spice. He also developed the automatic safety brake system, the horizontally swinging barber's chair that we enjoy at our air salons, and the beer cake tap that helps control the serving of beer. If you enjoy the automatic opening and closing mechanism of an elevator door, then give kudos to one of our African heroes, Alexander Miles. How many of you understand that transportation of perishable goods, ice blocks and ice cubes could be but an unattainable dream if not for the small cooling unit in our cooling vans? Well, thanks to an African, Frederick Jones, who invented the cooling unit. During his lifetime, Mr. Jones was awarded 61 patents. Who knows that ordinary modern day letter box was invented by an African, Philip Downing. Do you also know that lantern was invented by another African, Michael Harvey. In 1916, a group of workers were trapped in a water intake tunnel, 50 feet below Lake Harry. Their lives were all saved by an African inventor, Garrett Morgan. After witnessing many accidents on the streets of America, even though the first form of traffic lights were already in use, Mr. Morgan's improvement on the traffic light was what paved way to the great functionality of the traffic light we all enjoy on our roads today. Granville Woods, an African inventor, patented the communications between train stations and trains in transit in 1885. He was also honored for the invention of an egg incubator and had a total of 50 patents during his lifetime. Mr. Woods was often referred to as Black Edison. That was how great he was. When we all hear of the history of man in space, we never hear of Africans, but you know the truth. That mission was accomplished because of the brilliance of three female African mathematicians, thanks to the actresses who unveiled this story in a film called Hidden Figures. Have you ever heard of Otis Boykin? Well, he's an African whose invention continues to save millions of lives daily. He improved upon the pacemaker, a device implanted in the body to help regulate heartbeats. This improvement allows for greater control and efficiency of this life-saving device. Upon his death, Mr. Boykin had 26 patents to his name. As young Africans, we already know about Big Gates and Steve Jobs. We read motivational books and we find stories of people like Michael Dell of Dell Computers. All we were told were stories of great inventors of Caucasian descent. But never were we taught our own history, which affirms that black people are not inadequate or powerful beyond measure and can compete in medical, mathematical, automotive, and technological disciplines with the very best. We were not told of the great history of Dr. Philip Emagwali, an African, a Nigerian more precisely, who invented the world's fastest computer. He is referred to as the Big Gate of Africa. Mr. Emanguali discovered the efficiency in the way bees construct and work with the honeycomb and in 1989 he used 65,000 processors to invent the world's fastest computer which performs computations at 3.1 billion calculations per second. Its computer is what is used in the weather forecast and in the prediction of the global warming. These are just very few of many great African inventors. It is beyond comprehension 
Why African schools don't teach courses that tell the history of great African inventors? Because that alone can provide priceless inspiration and affirmation for Africans and their understanding of their place in the world. While we cannot deny the great effort of our Caucasian, Asian, and Indian counterparts in a civilized world, we must never forget the brilliance of black people. Because the combined effort of everyone is what has made our world what it is today. But despite the great innovations of Africans, one thing stood out. All these Africans carried out their genius work on foreign soil. And that is something to worry about. Well, the reason is simple. Put a shark in an aquarium. It will grow to the size of that aquarium. Or pull the same shark in an ocean. And there are no limits to its growth potential. As long as people in Africa still wake up to worry over what to eat what to wear, where to live, fleeing from war and how to meet up with basic bills. It will be very difficult to have people focus their minds on doing greater things other than looking for daily bread. We hope that able Africans will someday be the leaders in African politics rather than the many unqualified rulers we currently have. It is time we Africans become acquainted with our own history and begin to dream a bigger dream for ourselves and for the world. If you are an African, surely a film like Black Panther leaves you with the inspiration and hunger for greatness. God has made everyone equal and unique, regardless of the color of our skin. There is greatness in everyone. God bless you all. God bless Africa. God bless our world.